point in our game. He's a big guy. I used to date little skinny guys like you, but I lose them. I wake up in the middle of the night. Where are you going? Marco! Marco! There you are, you lost it. He's a big guy. We picked out the colors for the wedding. They're going to be sour cream and onion. Thank you. I'll register to Costco if you want to get us something. I met him online. I met him on SugarDaddy.com. I oh, know it really pissed me off too because I thought it was a bake sale. This is bullshit. He argues with me all the time though, people. Constantly arguing. I know. I can't get him to do dishes. I've tried everything. Yeah. I was like, honey, will you do the dishes? And he says, for what? Seriously? Uh, how about a background? He goes, lower. About the smart ass, right? A lower? You want a lower back rub? He said, no. Lower. <laughs> That's when I realized he was trying to trade a load for a load, right? <laughs> I said, who do you think you are? You're not William Shatner. You don't get to name your own price. <laughs> We're not negotiating. You are not the blowjob negotiator. <laughs> it's hard to do. <laughs> the man Pambi did the dishes. Yeah. I won. I got the ring. See me off the show, I'll show you how to get one. Yeah. A little work, some knee pads. <laughs> you know what guys like blowjobs though, right? Because it finally looks like we're agreeing with them. <laughs> village, they let you people leave here, don't they? <laughs> the boat is not very side friendly. We get on the boat, the first thing they want us to do is put on a life preserver jacket and get our pictures taken. <laughs> people, those life preserver jackets only come in one size. I look like I have a voodoo donut around my neck. <laughs> the lady goes, say cheese, I'm like, Screw cheese lady, I'm eating the donut. <laughs> I float. <laughs> they were mean. All the food is absolutely free for seven days. All you can eat. It was heaven. Every time we'd walk up to the buffet, the little guy would go, oh no, not you again. <laughs> it was funny the first time. It got a little annoying by the seventh time. So I decided to mess with the entire cruise ship. As I was getting off the ship and all the new people were coming on, I was like, have fun everyone, I was 130 pounds when I got on the ship. <laughs> Eat up, it's all crazy. You don't have a gymnasium on those ships? That's crazy, I'm on vacation. So just for fun, I walked into the aerobics class and told them that I was the new instructor. Wasn't moving. It was wasted. 
Like, have you guys ever seen anybody so drunk they talk with their eyes shut? <laughs> What do you know about samples? <laughs> That's a liquor store? You guys can save money feeding all those homeless if you guys did that. I asked him what the flavor of the week was. He said it was Bailey's chocolate chip mint. I know how cool is that alcoholic Girl Scouts can sell. <laughs> with these four cross friends of mine. <laughs> and he goes, hey, you need to put that down, it's not a toy. I was like, dude, you need to put that down, it's not a buffet. He goes, what do you know about a buffet? <laughs> I'll kick your ass in a buffet, sir. You better finish that salad. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of prejudice that goes on with big people. You guys probably heard about Kevin Smith having to buy two tickets to fly on an airplane. Yeah. Same thing happened to me. I'm standing in line at Southwest Airlines forever. I finally get up to the counter. The lady goes, ma'am, what was your weight? Oh, oh no. I said, what? <laughs> she goes, what was your weight? I said, about 45 minutes. <laughs> I said, what? Aren't you Southwest Airlines? Aren't you the friend's flight for free people? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, I ate my friend. Have you been to <laughs> Cheers, dude.